Hello everybody, this is Will from RogueDatabase.net. Today I'm going to be trying Super Anti-Spyware Pro against 10 Zero Day Threats. And I actually have never tested this program in real time. I know it's a great scanner. Uh, the free version, but the professional version I've actually never even tried. So I'm looking forward to this, and we will see how it goes. The installer is. Let's wait for this to pop up. The installer 7.17 megabytes. Um, so it's not as light as something like Malwarebytes, but it's still pretty small. Uh, this has some cool extra features, uh, which is one reason I like it. It has fixes for stuff like Disabled Task Manager, and uh, I'll show you those. Yes. And I will pause this while this downloads. Alright, so it finished uh, updating. And we'll skip this. And, yes. I'm going to let it send a diagnostic report to the research center because that diagnoses the system to help it improve the uh, software. And we will finish. So one thing about Super Anti-Spyware is even in the free version, as long as you keep it running, you can protect your home page from hijackers. Um, I'm going to say protect it, and that way we do not lose out from a misplaced home page. So, it's so far a pretty simple interface. Uh, in preferences, there are a few things you can do. Um, we're going to say, let's take a look. I'm going to close browsers before scanning. Enable real-time protection. I'm going to say scan system services. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. And then this is the interesting tab, uh, repairs. So let's say that my task manager is disabled. I could click perform repair and it would automatically go ahead and fix a disabled task manager. It's basically a registry fix performs. And uh, so there are, there are a whole heck of a lot of repairs that you can do. And that's one of the most useful parts of this program. So, we are going to go ahead and put some malware up against this. I have ten links today, most of which are pretty l badly detected by antivirus vendors. And that one goes completely right through. And that one goes through too. And that one seems to run also. Okay, security tool. This is remarkably not doing anything.
I'm a little unimpressed, I guess. I feel like we should be seeing at least some form of protection. Not just, uh, letting everything run. Oh, that's not a good one. And... Cripes. And I get absolutely nothing. So let's open up Super Anti-Spyware here. Let's just check. Real-time protection. It says it's, uh... It says it's real-time protection is on, and... Yet I feel like it should detect security tool. Because that's a pretty well-detected one. I am going to perform a full scan, and we're going to see if what it detects. I'll be right back when this is done. Alright, so, uh, it looks like we've actually detected the threats now after scanning, and it is quarantining these threats, and we will reboot. And I will be right back when this is done. Alright, so we're booting back up here, and Super Anti Spyware loads. And the system is back to normal. Um,. I mean, I don't understand how it can do so badly with its real-time protection and then can turn around and scan and find all those things, which to me tells me the real-time is broken, and I think that's kind of sad. Um, hard for me to tell, because I feel like it should have done much better than that. I'll be right back. I want to try something for a sec. Alright, so I made it to the SpyCar website here. SpyCar is an iCar test file for um, spyware, anti-spyware applications, like super anti-spyware. So we're going to use SpyCar to take a look at what the super anti-spyware alert looks like. So we download and run this, and it has detected and blocked a potentially harmful application. Uh, and then we can check the other one. It should detect all of these, yeah. And let's see about, um... This one. Yeah, so it detects all of these spy cars. And, uh... So, at least we know that Super Anti-Spyware's real-time protection is on, but that makes it even sadder that it can't detect any of those threats that I threw at it earlier. And it kind of makes me feel like Super Anti-Spyware is maybe good as a scanner, but maybe not good as a real-time scanner. And if you're going to buy something, save your money for something else. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. And don't forget to check out my review, the video where I'm asking you what reviews you'd like to see because I would like to know what you would like to see, not just me.